It's always better to do a short yoga practice often rather than a long yoga practice every now and then. So this is a 10 minute daily yoga routine for beginners to make sure that you can get that short yoga practice in often. My name is Katie and thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna get started on all fours. So we're coming into tabletop pose here. Spread your fingers nice and wide apart. Have your wrists directly below your shoulders and your knees directly below your hips. We'll get ourselves warmed up with a few cats and cows. So when you're ready, take a breath in and point your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Drop your belly towards your mat. Bring your chest slightly forward and then look up. As you exhale, point your tailbone down round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest and drop your head down. Next inhale takes the tailbone back up, drop the belly down, chest forward, eyes up. Exhale, point the tailbone down, round your spine, chin to chest and drop your head. Keep going a few more like this. So each inhale takes you up to cow pose. Each exhale rounds you down to cat. And this is a great exercise to do daily. It keeps your spine nice and flexible and it also helps to open up your hips and your shoulders. Now when you're ready, come back into tabletop pose, into that neutral spine. Walk your hands slightly more in front of you, keeping your fingers spread. Curl your toes onto your mat. Now lift your knees up and drag your hips up and back to come into downward facing dog. Now we'll stay here for a moment just to stretch out all through the backs of the legs. So you can paddle out your feet here you might sway your hips from side to side. Just do whatever you need to do. And don't worry about how this pose looks, especially if you're a beginner. Just focus on how it feels. With time, we'll aim to point our tailbone up, release your head towards the mat. Maybe your ears come in line with your biceps and keep a big bend in your knees here. That's gonna help you to keep your back nice and straight. Take a big breath in, fill up your belly. And as you exhale, you can start to slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Eventually we land here in a standing forward fold. So our feet are about hip distance apart. Knees stay bent, hands can hang low towards the mat, or they might come to grab opposite elbows here. Then make your head really heavy, release it towards your mat. And we're just gonna hang here. Find those deep belly breaths each time you breathe in. Maybe you're lifted out of the pose slightly. But then each time you breathe out, you might be able to sink yourself a little bit lower. Stretching all through the backs of your legs, all through your back. Maybe you can even open up your shoulders a little bit here. Take one more big breath in. And as you exhale, you can release your hands back down either side of your feet if they're not already there. Then we'll step our right foot far back behind us, making our way into a lunge. So you can drop that back knee onto your mat. Toes might stay curled or the, you can bring the top of your foot onto your mat here. So we're just gonna hang out in our lunge here for a moment, opening up those hips. 
take a few big breaths in and out. Maybe you can start to sweep that left hand all the way up towards the sky. Follow your left thumb up with your eyes. Take a big breath in now as you gently open up your heart. And then exhale, drop that left hand back down. Curl your back toes onto your mat again and prepare to step back into downward facing dog. And take a moment again here just to stretch out your full body. Now this time when you're ready, your right foot steps forward in between your hands. Drop your back knee onto your mat and just find your best, most comfortable lunge here. Taking some long breaths in and out. Maybe right hand sweeps up this time, reaching for the sky. Look up at your right thumb and take a huge breath in now, opening up your chest and exhale to drop it back down. This time, curl those back toes onto your mat again, but we're gonna step the left foot forward, coming back into our standing forward fold. Feet hip distance apart, knees are bent, Everything is hanging low here. Big belly breaths in and out. And then from here, you can guide yourself back down onto your mat. So you're sitting on the floor with your legs out in front of you. So legs are nice and long here. We're gonna take it into a pose called head to knee pose. So we'll start by bending the left knee, bringing the sole of the left foot into the right thigh. Look over this long outstretched leg, take a big breath in and reach your hands up. As you exhale, you can hinge at your hips, folding forward, just dropping your hands wherever they land along this right leg. And then as the pose suggests, maybe you can bring your head towards your knee. And of course, they don't have to touch at all. We're just encouraging the head in that direction. To come out of the pose now, take a breath in. Use your hands to push yourself away from your mat. Send that left foot out towards the top of the mat again. You might shake off your legs here. And then we'll go to the other side by bringing the sole of the right foot into the left thigh. Looking over our long leg, we're inhaling to stretch up and then exhaling to fold down. And again, maybe head comes towards left knee this time. A few big breaths in, opening up your hips, your lower back, your bottom hamstring. So if you are trying to do some more regular 10 minute yoga practices, I do have a full playlist of 10 minute yoga routines and there's 21 of them in total. So the idea is that you can keep coming back every day and just get consistent with your yoga practice. And they're all suitable for beginners. So I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description of this video if you want to check it out. One more full breath in. 
exhale and then use your hands again to push you away from the mat coming back up take both your legs out long in front of you now and give them a shake off now we'll end with a nice simple twist for the spine so you can bend your left knee bringing your left foot in as close to your body as you can get it wrap your right arm around this left leg giving it a nice hug and then left hand comes in behind your tailbone as close to it as you can get it left arm will prop up your spine here take a breath in and then as you exhale slowly start to rotate from your waist then your rib cage and then your neck looking back behind you just a few breaths here Then we'll reverse, coming back to center. Left foot out long again. Right foot comes in. You're wrapping your left arm around your right leg and bring your right hand in behind you. Spine is propped up again as you take a breath in. And then exhale, slowly start to twist. Maybe looking back behind you. And then we'll make our way back to center, both legs out long again, shake them off and just come to sit in whatever way is most comfortable for you. We'll just have a quiet moment here. So close your eyes and we're going to take a really big breath in. Fill up your belly, your chest and your throat. And now as you exhale, you might open your mouth and just get rid of any stress or tension, anything you don't want to bring with you. So thank you so much for practicing with me today. It's always amazing how much yoga you can fit into just 10 minutes. So I hope you liked this daily yoga routine. If you did, you can let me know by leaving a thumbs up or maybe even a comment on this video, or maybe you are ready to subscribe to the channel and we can do more yoga together in the future. So have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon, but until then, goodbye.